this is what we got going on right now. It's just the base, the shell, showing you the shape a little bit, showing you the other side, how to cut out some holes in the back end so I can drill those uh, shells in there. But uh, this is what we're working on right now, and we're going to move into the rest of this. So my vision for this is uh, the entire front end glass that will open up. So I marked off what I want to cut out. I'm going to cut it out, and I'll figure out how I'm going to make my glass shape that later. But we're going to go ahead and cut that out, just because uh, that's how I do it. I think it, I do it. No questions asked. y'all to keep in mind is the shell is uh not going to be on that trailer that trailer is just a trailer that i had built for for my uh, kayaks so right now we're working on this and i'm getting ready to start figuring out how to do the base the inside for the benches what i've got going on right now is i'm mocking up the base for the bed and how everything is going to work so this part will fold up to stay open for access in and out of this uh, rear galley door especially like if you're out in the water boating swimming you won't be able to get in and out of here easily uh, for daytime mode this will be a couch anyway so this will be a couch this side will be up it'll have the padding and all that stuff will be uh, permanently fixed to this side which will come up to here on this wall above the seating position this will be your backing position so my idea is for this section to be hinged so it can go up and uh, secure fasten to the wall however it needs to be to have that space open this whole this whole base will be open uh, in day mode because this base will be uh, connected to the top here so my idea is that the back section uh, when you put it into night mode comes off and sets perfectly inside of there on its rails on either side um, to connect this side to the base which will all be uh, foamed out which I've got all the foam back there it'll be foamed out um, material wrapped sewed and then adhered to uh, to these parts so that's that's what I'm working on trying to mock up right now in here. Here I'm getting the bottom of the, the base set, the size that it needs to be, um, and designing out what sections I'm going to cut out to start making it. So I'm going to make one side that's got a pitch that goes all the way down like this, and then the other side where it's got a pitch going all the way down that comes apart in two places so that poor part can come out. Now the center section here is for the final piece to go in that you finish creating the bottom. That's with that uh, piece in front of the door out. So that way I'll have four different settings. I can have a bench on both sides, or I can have a bench on one side and half of the other side with the two openings exposed for both doors, or I can have the bed laid out. All right, time to time to start memory foaming out these uh, benches. So I'm gonna cut that foam. Uh, this is. Uh, 12 inches of foam I'm only gonna do it six inches so I'm gonna do six inches of foam the top layer of the memory foam uh, to create the benches which also turns into the bed and then here I'm getting the foam cut and, uh, put on those pieces um, I've just wrapped it in, in thick shrink wrap to hold that foam together as I start mocking everything up this is all the pieces done and laid out as a bed I just threw a blanket on it to see where it's gonna look it comes up perfect too um, those door openings and stuff so it's going to be real. Now I need to put 
the area for the wraparound windows on each side. So I went on the inside, drilled holes from the inside out to shape where those braces are and to give you my shape. Now I'm gonna cut that out and then uh, we'll start making frames for those windows on either side. All right, so now we're starting to get the understanding of how that's gonna wrap around on both sides. This board, I'm starting, this board I'm starting to shape slowly but surely pulling it in to create that shape so I can make my window seal for both of those and those will open by the way. So that's where we are right now. This plastic is just temporary, I just put it on there because I was outside and it was really windy the other day and I didn't want the wind blowing on me the whole time I was in there trying to work. And I was uh, getting curious to see what it was going to look like behind the truck. So I went ahead and uh, hooked it up to the truck, and that's just plastic getting the visuals of the windows wrapping around. Of course, we need two more windows uh, on the sides that make that wrap around further. Uh, the one in the door, the one on this side. Um, so this is me giving an idea of what's going to look like, docking it off, pulling, or pulling it off, putting it in the water. Um, from the inside where I've got the windows framed out, I've got the pass-throughs framed out. Um, getting really close to uh, getting ready to do some more work to this. So. Um, now I need to get it. Well, I'm by myself. Trailer. I ain't got no help getting this uh, back on the trailer. So I had to use some ingenuity. Give me some ratchets across the, the ceiling there, across the beams, and <laughs> ratchet that up. Give me the height I think I need for the bottom of this boat to go on that trailer. All right, let's see how that works. All right, now that I was able to use this hardboard to create my shape, my design, I was able to frame in where I want my wraparound windows. I was able to frame in my pass through. I was able to frame in where the door is going to be built here. Where I know where the window is going to be in that as well. So now I've got this all shaped up the way I want it. Um, by making those shapes out of hardboard first. Now I'm going to trim the fat. I don't need any of this wood. None of this. I just need the framework. Um, so I'm going to go in and cut out between all of that where I don't need it and shed that weight don't need that weight on there now because it's going to be foam on the outside and fiberglass so uh let's uh, go ahead and get going on that shall we sounds like a plan to me So this is what I'm talking about, shedding all that unnecessary weight, because it's all going to be foamed and PMF'd. Um, I'll leave the departure angles on, because um, those are already built in, shaped in. But I'll be cutting that one out, that one out, bottom of that out, above that out as well. Um, obviously the door won't be getting cut out, making the door. And I won't be cutting out the nose, and I won't be cutting out the top part of this where the foam is going to curve over it but i will be cutting out on the inside between those as well shed that weight fat and i've taken off about a hundred pounds of unnecessary weight on this camper and we'll get ready to start foaming it out pmfing it and fiberglassing it all right, my fellow Americans, I believe it's time that we start foaming out this camper. So this is a hybrid. It's part land, part water, part foamy, part traditional. So uh, let's go ahead and start putting this foam on here. This is going to be the Home Depot, or actually Lowe's uh, foam, because it's going to be PMF'd, but I'm not depending on the structure of the foam to hold its integrity because I actually built the frame out on this, which adds weight, takes away from it being a traditional foamy, but uh, I am able to use thinner foam. I don't have to use the two inch foam for that extra structural t uh, stability. I'm using the one inch foam, but there will be two inches of foam because I'm using one inch foam on the outside sheeting, 
and then one inch foam between the frame. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, American Patriots and Worldwide Patriots. Let me refresh that. Thank you all for watching. Let's get busy. Bye bye, though. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's gonna conclude part four of this video. And remember, always love God, love your family, and love your country. Until then. Get with you on part five of this build. Let's go, Brandon.